Hey guys, it's New Mistaka here, and I'm back with you for a little sneak preview of the next Queen's Beast, plus a few other goodies from the Royal Mint and the Popjoy Mint. And uh, as you can see here, it's uh, not quite as pretty as some of the uh, other previous Queen's Beast coins, um, but uh, the Silver Forum members have been having fun bringing out the bull's feminine side. So, more as soon as I get it, and uh, the proof of that should be out sometime in the next 10 days, I would have thought, something like that, maybe a little bit longer, not quite sure, keep a lookout for it. So looking through the Raw Mint website, there are a couple of uh, new issues of note. I don't normally pay much attention to these, but I thought you guys might be interested in looking in particular at the new 2018 Beatrix Potter. Uh, the 2017 version almost brought the Royal Mint website down. Uh, everybody bought loads of them, but the prices have really not done very much compared to the 2016 version. You can see here we've got uh, Peter Rabbit, Flopsy Bunny, you know, Mrs. Tittlemouse, we've got uh, the Taylor. Um, we've got a few coins which are pretty good and will very much appeal to Beatrix Potter fanatics, of which there are plenty, and there is a new film out as well. But uh, I, I'm not sure that you're going to get exactly the same opportunity with these as the 2016 ones. There were 15,000 of each minted in 2016, 30,000, which I thought was way too many, in 2017, and 35,000 now for 2018, which I also think is way too many. I think they've overdone it, and I think they have, uh, in doing so, killed the, uh, the golden goose of um, 2016. Certainly it didn't happen in 2017, although who knows, um, these are very popular issues. It might very well sell out in the same way. It probably will, but whether it's a good investment opportunity, I'll leave that one to you. The first one of those is out for order now, and then as with uh, the previous years, the other ones will then be issued over a period of time. Let's take a look now at the Royal Academy. The Royal Academy is an amazing place and uh, ha has lots of these uh, fabulous exhibitions. And this one celebrates the 250th anniversary of the Royal Academy in London, in Piccadilly. And it's got the facade of the Royal Academy on one side and Her Majesty on the other. Uh, very low mintage edition of this, 2,750. Doesn't mean to say that it will be incredibly popular. It may very well not be um, intensely popular. I was actually at the Royal Academy yesterday for the Charles I art exhibition. And I'll just uh, show you a little bit of video from that as well before we move on. But you can tell me what you think of the Royal Academy uh, five pound uh, proof coin and whether you think that will do well going forward. I think that it does have some potential because of the low edition limit, but it's not really going to be everybody's cup of tea, so I can't imagine it's going to take the world by storm. So let's have a look at what's new now at the Popjoy Mint, and uh, I got an email this morning from them advertising their new titanium coins. Um, personally, I don't get it. I don't really see the value in orange titanium coins, blue titanium coins. They want about £40, about $55 or so for each one of these. The additional limit at seven and a half thousands uh, seems to be very high. I think that for something quite specialised like this, if they'd have been, you know, 500, 750, might have been an interesting buy. Um, my personal belief, and don't let me influence you, is that at seven and a half thousand, um, and there are already too many varieties that I can see in their shop. I think they've discovered how to make titanium coins and they've just um, jumped onto the, um, the bandwagon and they're going to continue producing these. And I think that will probably mean that any one of these coins is not going to be a, a fabulous investment. So 
I would, uh, I would look at them, and if you're interested in something with a little bit of novelty, maybe, maybe one of these, maybe the, uh, the tree frog. Um, I mean, they, these are all legal tender coins, um, as much as legal tender actually means anything when it comes to these items. Um, I don't think that that is beautifully executed, and of course titanium is not really a, uh, a metal which is precious in any way at all. So they've got a new silver coin out as well, the Pegasus 2018 Reverse Frosted Silver Bullion. Um, I think that's at a pretty low premium. I think the prices on this are pretty good. I, I think that is, um, is quite a good choice for a semi-numismatic premium bullion coin. And uh, I would prefer that certainly over the, uh, the titanium yellow tree frog. So uh, some news from the outside world, from the coin market. Let me know what you guys think and whether any of these are going to be on your shopping list.